tell me I'm hallucinating because I know this can't be real. <laughs> Mary Ann Singleton returns to Barbary Lane. Oh yeah, she dear. does. It's a star-studded cast. It's an assemble to bring us the latest chapter in Armistead Maupin's iconic LGBT series, Tales of the City. We are excited to be joined by Paul Gross, Murray Bartlett, and showrunner Lauren Morelli. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us today. Yes. So good to have you here. Congratulations. Now, this fast-forwards to modern day, which is a switch. So did you have any input with Mr. Maupin on on how this should flow. Yeah, Armistead's been really involved, which has been really lovely. He came to the writer's room, he read all the scripts, he was on set a couple days, he has a little cameo <laughs> in a later episode, which is really fun. Uh, so he's really, I mean, I always say he's the grandfather I always wished I had. He's been amazing. Yeah. Did everything kind of stop when he walked on? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think, like, watching him walk into Barbary Lane for the first time was, it was like watching the it's king like come a, home. Yeah, mm. a prophet kind of walking yeah. into, the, into the crowd. <laughs> yeah. and, and then you have he who doesn't age in the middle, Paul. 26. <laughs> you, Would you believe? Okay, let's look at this photo. Oh. If I said to the, the young chap here 26 years later, you are going to be reprising your role in Tales of the City, with oh, some of the cast, that Lady, shirt. and that's Olivia Dukakis. Is, that's a good shirt. <laughs> wow. So, would you believe that this would come full circle mm. 26 years later? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a complete surprise when uh, Alan Poole, who's one of the executive producers, called and said, We're going to do it again. And he started to say, So, here's what we're going to do. And I said, No, I'm in. Well, I'll just yeah. do it. Because it was one of the great experiences I've ever had. Mm. And then, to me, Lauren is on it and doing it. I thought, oh, this is going to be great. And then him. <laughs> and him. I decided it still would be great. <laughs> <laughs> the new guy. We warmed up to each other. Yeah. <laughs> did you create a life form in between that 26-year gap? Or how did you approach the character? I just was really, it was just the script. Mm -hmm. And all of that was in there. And then between that and that, it was easy to bridge it. I mean, it is interesting. He's grown up. Right. He has uh, a daughter, Ellen Page. Yeah. Beautifully yeah. acted. And again, Sherry Ellen Seals. Page, the perfect little tiny stick of dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Totally. Laura Linney, you said such a drag to work with her again. It's, uh, she's really difficult. Yeah. And, uh, and not very good. So you have you to really, lift really your fill yeah. in the cracks. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, working with Laura and Ellen was just like, a, well, the whole cast, it was just fantastic. It was a fantastic atmosphere. And, yeah. You could feel the friendship, including you, Marie. So when you walked yeah. onto set to take on this iconic role, what was your headspace going in to try and, br and bring what you could bring sensibility-wise to the role? Uh, I mean, I'd been a fan of the, the books and the show for a long, long time, so I came to it with a lot of love. And then before we started shooting the show, I went and read all the Tales of the City books. There's nine books in total. Mm -hmm. And just really sort of connected again with the story in that way and tried to... Because the my character has been played by two other actors before in, in different iterations of the show, so I really wanted to just go back and take the character from Armistead from the books. Yeah, and you do a great job. And, I mean, this is <laughs> iconic for the the LGBTQ community, but also this is about people, really. I mean, it's about relationships and it's about lives too. Yeah. Is it not? Our flaws. Yeah, absolutely. And chosen family, I think. Right? We all sort of grow up, and regardless of what community we're a part of, we we form our own families. And it was really amazing to watch the cast become. I always there was this meta thing that happened where the cast became a family, on screen and off, and just like finding your people. It's really lovely. Speaking of finding your people, perfect segue. Your beautiful wife Samira Wiley was on the show three years ago. <gasps> it was like a year before you got married. Okay. Uh, we asked her some questions. She spoke nicely about you behind your back, <laughs> but she also said. There's another Torontonian on your list who you would love to meet. Watch this clip. Oh, oh, I know what this is going to be. Joins us this morning, and we promise, guys, no spoilers. No so good to see you. Thank you. How was the Pride Parade yesterday? Oh, the Pride Parade was so amazing, was so awesome. The energy, it was just so nice to be there. Okay, let's what talk about this. And we're not allowed to what's obviously say what's going no, on. No, what are you doing with my character? <laughs> what, do you have input into your lines? Absolutely not. That's that's where we draw the line. We don't really talk about work at home. I haven't found Drake yet. I don't Has, know where he have is. Have you heard from him? I haven't heard from Drake. Um, Lauren, um, my girlfriend, is really looking for you Drake if you're out there um, <laughs> we're in Toronto uh, where are you Drake stalker right here well, so. we know <laughs> where he'll true. be Thursday yeah I know congratulations yeah. are we rooting for the Raptors of course 
Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Murray's like, <laughs> Murray's like I'm out. Yes, 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 yes. I love the Raptors. Uh, well, thank you so much for being here, and congratulations. It's a beautiful uh, retelling of the story. Modern day version of Tales of the City will hit the screens this evening. You can go check it out, 9 p.m. It's the Centerpiece Gala of Inside Out Film Festival. Make sure you go see it at TIFF, Lightbox, and thank you for lighting up our lives with your craft. You do a beautiful job. Thanks. Keep shining, friends. Thanks. 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 Thanks.